What's going on everyone? Marcus is back with another video. Today I will be talking about how that you can use Instagram influencers with shoutouts to do thousands of dollars a day on your Shopify store. So for those few of you who may not know what an influencer is, it's an Instagram account, a physical person or a specific page, for example a jewelry page with a certain amount of followers where you can make a shout out for a specific product. Let's say you got a cat ring, you're in the jewelry niche, you then find some page with which maybe likes cats, that would be a very great Instagram page. Um, you find this Instagram page and then you reach out to the person, there's three dots in the top right corner where you could press, you could say send a message and then you're going to write to the um, influencer and ask for the prices of a shout out. In this way you get your product in front of the right people because you make a shout out on a page where people like cats. Let's say there's an Instagram page called I Love Cats. Um, this page got a lot of people who likes cats, which means that they are more likely to buy your cat ring. So Instagram influencers and Instagram pages is a very great way to scale your store if you're a beginner. So the easiest way is to reach out to the Instagrammer, uh, to the influencers, say, hey, what's your promotion prices? And then you will make a specific um, picture, a shout out, um, a square photo in Canva or something like that. I'm going to make a video about that. Um, and then you want to send it to them, pay through PayPal, whatever you want to like. Um, and then they will post it for 12 or 24 hours. This way you can maybe go ahead and pay 20 bucks for a influencer which has a um, hundred K followers in this way you'll probably get maybe 20,000 people to watch this product and probably maybe 500 to a thousand people to go into that product page and potential customer to buy your product so the great way about using Instagram influencers is that you can take all this traffic all these sales add to cards checkouts all those kind of stuff and you can make a lookalike audience for your Facebook pixel. Your pixel um, learns from all these people who's going to check out, um, who's going to add to cart, all these type of stuff. So when you get all this traffic, all these different um, conversions in your store, it will help your pixel when you're starting to make Facebook ads to easily find people who likes cat rings or who likes jewelry and stuff like that. It will really help your Facebook pixel when you're making shoutouts on Instagram. So, talking about Instagram um, shoutouts, personally, what works best for me is actually just choosing 12 hours. Sometimes they may say you that you can be up for 48 hours, but uh, let's face it, you're only like looking at the top feed of your Instagram, so you don't look at pictures which is like 36 hours old. So, the most engagement I get on the shoutouts that I've made on different Instagram influences um, is actually within the first two or three hours um, and then of course there might be some the rest of the 17 hours if I'm doing like or like 17 20 hours if I'm doing like a 24 hour post but mostly I'm just doing a 12 hour post because mostly that's cheaper um, and more effective you know profitly ways so especially if you're a beginner I'm still using um, Instagram influence very often it's a very effective way um, of marketing your store it gives great um, trustworthiness when you're on different kind of stores, uh, other people's Instagram influencer pages and all these type of stuff because they might have been following this cat page for a year and then when they post something they know well they really trust this page because they've seen so many posts for them so they will think that you're also a trustworthy um, store and that way you will get more sales from it. Uh, especially if you're a beginner it's a great way of starting out with your store um, to get a lot of people into your store build up that pixel get your pixel to learn from your customers and things like that uh, really something that I can recommend for you if you're especially if you're a new beginner if you're a beginner for drop, drop shipping um, or if, if you just have a regular clothing store I don't know but it works well for drop shipping as well um, I did it a lot in the beginning uh, still do it a lot. Um, of course, it's some bigger pages now. 
you can start with small pages like five uh, like 50k or 100k or just DM different kind of people just be aware when you DM like 15 people in a row you might be banned for an hour or something like that so my strategy is just go in DM about eight to ten people go out wait a, like a couple of hours go in and then uh, go ahead and DM more people because you don't want to get banned from Instagram the first time it's maybe like I don't know just 20 minutes but it keeps adding up and some like at a point it may be two days three days that you can't DM anyone and then this your circle of Instagram influence is gonna fail so it might be hard to keep up like a shout out each day but in the beginning it's a very good way to um, get sales uh, for your store and then you can move on to Facebook ads when I would recommend when you've got about a hundred sales, fifty to hundred sales, and then you you want to set up your Facebook pixel first before starting on the Instagram influencers. That's the best way. If you haven't done that already, I really recommend you uh, setting up your Facebook pixel because that's uh, the way you want to scale your store later on, and the easiest way you can fast scale your store because you will all these different kind of it's called conversions when people add to cart um, view your content on your landing page your product page um, buy something go to check out search something on your story all these types of stuff is called conversions for your Facebook pixel and all those conversions will learn your Facebook pixel how to optimize and find the best audience for your products so when you've got maybe like a hundred sales you can go ahead and make a lookalike audience on your Facebook um, ad account and this will automatically find the one percent in for example United States which looks the most like those who have bought from your store the hundred persons they're going ahead it goes ahead and find those people which is 2.1 million people which looks the most like the people who have bought from your store and when it's only 100 sales you can go ahead and take those 2 million and even flex target and narrow down the audience to maybe like 400,000 people or something like that but I will go ahead and make a Facebook um, ads video later on to show you how you go ahead and make an ad and look, make a look like audience set up your Facebook pixel stuff like that so thank you so much for watching this video I hope you got something great out of this little information video about Instagram influencers, I will go deeper down um, and show you how to use these different kind of techniques and strategies that I use for finding Instagram influencers and um, how to, you know, text with them and get the best prizes and stuff like that. Um, but if you got any great out of this video, please leave a like, re leave a comment what you want me to go over next time. Uh, remember to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you're always up to date with my videos. Have a great day.